my name is Karel Mosakis and this is Feature Games. Today we are going to review Sector Prime, uh, which is a space uh, exploration, space mining game actually, where you get to move around in different planets, mining the uh, uh, Traxxion crystals, but also fighting each other. Uh, its basic mechanic is um, um, its basic mechanism is uh, dice rolling, and uh, it has a pretty good system on balancing the dice between players. Uh, but first, let me show you how this game is played, and then we are going to talk more about it and if I like it or not, or anything in between. This is not the final production copy, but it's actually a print and play copy. And excuse me for uh, some of the colors that they are not in the base game. Also, I use a yellow D12 instead of a white D12, which is the algorithm die. Okay, how this game is played. So I have set it up for three players. Um, I just put three extra um, uh, tiles. So in these tiles, we can see planets that we will have, uh, we will visit uh, with our drones, uh, so we can mine all the uh, resources. Actually, the Traxium crystals. Um, in the game, we also get to have a special um, card, a character card that helps us throughout the game and gives us a bit of um, advantages. For example, this one, it's um, mine one, minus one cost to the build uh, struct to build structures. And I'm going to tell you more about it, but uh, you either you control one tile or you control three tiles to do this special action. So uh, you can see that everyone has the same uh, control one or control three tile special action and uh, each one does its own thing. So um, let me tell you about the, the game is uh, split into three different phases. Uh, the first phase uh, is to explore uh, all the areas around you. Actually, it's to move. So you just roll your base die, and by meaning your base die, this is your base die, it's a D12. Uh, and you win the game by uh, upgrading your base uh, in, uh, to the third level. This is the first, the second, and the third, which we are going to explain uh, later on in the uh, build section. So how do you bring these cubes, which uh, we call them in the game drones. So. Drones can be either your mining, uh, uh, your mining robots or your uh, defense or attack robots. Uh, they just change states and instead of mining, they do combat. So if I have the this base, uh, let's see. Let's say that I am the red player and I have the red base. So it's only the, the, the basic um, uh, base that I have. So I just roll a die and it says eight. Now I can bring either I can bring eight um, drones in, in the tile that I have my base, or I can move like four, and I can choose to move my all of my four into another tile. Now, how do I move from tile from tile to tile? Uh, from this tile to this tile, because there is no barrier between them. It's just one move, uh, you just pay one move and you're done with it. But oh, I, what happens if there is like here? Let me show it to you better. So what happens here if on this uh, side it has an asteroid section? This asteroid section costs two movement points and at this section there's an iron storm. The iron storm costs three points. So, um, as you uh, progress uh, and move throughout the board, you will pay more and more to move around. It's not that easy to move around. Uh, but keep in mind that this is not an area control because you will move with your drones here, 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 uh, and other players will try to take your uh, planet, but only for mining the crystals, so you can upgrade and build your um, your base. So, um, okay, let me tell you about the uh, the build. 
um, in order to build you must have five drones in the planet and also you must have a fabricator that this works as a drone and where it goes uh, you can build uh, stuff with it and what can you build is a refinery which uh, costs also crystals these are tr traxium crystals um, that you need to get to the game so in the final game this will be um, green crystals oh, I didn't have any green crystals so these are golden uh, tokens uh, so either you build a refinery uh, so refinery of the game is going to be a bit different it's not going to be a cube but let's say I build a refinery here I'm going to tell you what the refinery does in the third section but I, I also can build force fields now force fields can help me for example if I build a force field here um, because there's the iron storm it, and it costs three movements to uh, to go through another tile now it will cost me only one it's like you were gonna have open space now because it's red only the red player get to use this one now this cannot be destroyed but also if you put it that way then it means this is a force field also force fields cannot get destroyed Okay, um, what else can we build? So except from the refinery and the uh, force field, we can build a station uh, with um, 12 crystals, uh, section station one, two and three, and we win if we build, we're either the first to build this. Now, the opponent can um, uh, uh, cut us from uh, getting crystals. For example, if there's another player here and he gets to move two he does one and two and if he brings his cube there then we need to um to fight so in order to fight you must have the equal power equal amount sorry for um crystals of crystals you don't have to give them you must you just uh have to have like in this case uh if the um black player attacks he or she must have one at least traction crystal now, how do we uh, solve the disputes on a planet? Um, what we do is both of us take our base, um, our uh, base die. Let's see. This is so. These are the different base um, uh, dies, and what we do is roll them, but also add to the uh, result uh, every. Um, every drone that was in that planet so example if both players roll 12 and 11 that's a nice roll then 12 plus 1 it will give us 13 but also the other player would add 1 2 3 4 5 so it would go to 16 and the red player would win so if it was 12 and 3 then 3 plus 1 2 3 4 5 it will be 8 now the red player could not win but in the game you can pay three traxium crystals and you can reroll your die so with 9 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 versus 12 plus 1 13 now the red would win so this is a normal thing for a, a fight now whoever gets to win in a fight uh, if if the fight is completely over and all of the opponent's drones are um, are removed, uh, then you get two uh, bonus extra movements, um, so you can use them through the board. But when the opponent loses, he must remove half of his drones. So the battle goes on until all the drones are off the planet. The opponent's uh, drones are over the planet. Now, what else can we do? In your uh, turn, if you have no planets in dispute, meaning that uh, no other drones are inside your planet, then you get to mine the planet. So we have two ways of mining it. So one is just to collect the crystals. So you collect one crystal uh, for each of your undisputed tiles. For you know, in this case, we have one, two, three crystals plus one crystal for its refinery so this is the refinery I told you about so it's one two three and four it doesn't matter uh, how many 
of your drones are in a planet, you're still gonna get one. So the refinery gives you like doubles your bonus. Now, how can we get more of them though? So the game must go forward and finish faster. So one, two, three, four. So if I roll a die, if I example, roll my station die, so my station die is this, and I roll a one. I will roll also the, the algorithm die. The algorithm die is a five. Now, I don't want one. Uh, if I, I keep the one, I will lose. Because if I lose from the algorithm die, then I won't get any uh, traction crystals. Uh, but if I win it, look, so let's see if I pay three, I get an 11. So I won and I get double the amount of traction crystals I would get if I would just collect them. Now I just increase production. The things that we can do in our uh, turn is just move, uh, either attack or expand, meaning that to, to uh, build uh, stuff, and then the last phase get the crystals by either just mining them or increasing production, meaning that you just overload your, your drones and they uh, give you more of this stuff. That's all that I could say about the game. There are some details in the rules, but I just gave you the basic idea. So let's go and see on how I like the game. So guys, um, as you have seen, this is basically a dice game. And yeah, I, I think that it is good that it does not take more than 50 minutes to an hour. Uh, because if you think you're gonna have a strategy in this game, then the bad die rolls is going to mess uh, your strategy up. So it's no no, no your game. Uh, it's a classic dice game where bad die rolls are bad die rolls. Um, but the um, the designers of the game have worked really hard to uh, balance the game between players, meaning that. The person that is far away in front uh, in the um, uh, scoring uh, uh, and the person that is the last have almost the same opportunities and um, the last can reach the first player and that's a good thing in the game. Uh, also um, I gotta say that I kind of enjoyed the game, I didn't like that in many of the games many of my tyros were not as good as my opponents so I lost most of the times and mainly because I'm a Euro gamer uh, that thing that it sets me off uh, I don't like it that much but um, if you are a player that like dice games and you are good at dice checking and dice rolling and good at strategizing uh, with knowing that you might have a, a big bunch of uh, bad die rolls especially in a 2, uh, uh, 1d 12 die or 1d 8 die which is a from 1 to 8 which is a huge amount of um, numbers that you can get um, but hey if you like it uh, go to the uh, link below and uh, go to the, their kickstarter campaign and back this project I'm sure you're gonna have lots of fun with it uh, it's not too long, it's not too short it's somewhere in the uh, golden middle so I, I think that if you like this kind of games go back it and I hope you enjoy bye guys